I love finding old Radio Shack products, especially when it's something I've never seen before and I didn't even know existed. Such as the case with this S-Video signal converter, just this little adapter here with an S-Video input on one side and an RCA jack on the other side. It converts a standard baseband video signal to S-Video signal used to connect your VCR to your TV's S-Video input. Also works in reverse converts S-Video to standard signal. And I didn't think either of those was possible with just a simple passive adapter like this. It is possible to do that with video processors which use active circuitry to separate the luma and chroma components of the video signal. But obviously that requires powered circuitry and that's not something you can do with just this little adapter here. And also the opposite, converting S-Video to a standard composite signal. That's something I actually tried many years ago when I had a Commodore 64 and I was trying to connect it to a TV that only had a composite video input. And the only video cable I had for it had the Luma and Chroma outputs, which is basically S-Video split up into two separate RCA jacks instead of one mini DIN connector. And in my desperation, I tried using a Y adapter to combine the Luma and Chroma into an AirSats composite video signal. And while that did produce an image, it was dim and had ghosting, smearing, and tearing. So I'll be interested to see if this does a better job of that than a simple passive Y adapter. Now you're probably asking, why would anybody want or need to convert S-Video to composite or vice versa? Because pretty much any device that has an S-Video output also has a regular composite video output. So why wouldn't you just use that instead? And likewise, the opposite. I've never seen any TV or monitor which had an S-Video input, but not a composite input. And I think these days, modern TVs have just eliminated all of the analog video inputs and now they just have HDMI. The only possible application I can see for this being useful is if you had all your video components neatly put into a cabinet where you don't really have easy access to all the cables going between the components and you don't want to undo all the setup just in case you needed an extra video input or output. So in this case instead of rewiring the entire setup maybe an adapter like this would come in handy but I don't know. This is actually from 2004. Right there's the date code. So this would have been when most people were using DVD players with their systems. For my first test, I'll be using a Sony DVD player connected to a small widescreen LCD TV. But look how big the bezel is on that TV. It's ridiculous. But anyway, the DVD player has both composite and S-Video outputs. And likewise, the TV has both composite and S-Video inputs. So I can do a direct comparison between them, as well as using this adapter to convert composite to S-Video and vice versa. And my test material will be this Canon EOS Rebel instructional video DVD. So it should be a good source of hopefully copyright free sample video. And it is a widescreen DVD. Here is composite video output of the DVD player connected to the TV's composite video input. And you can see some dot crawl on the fine details of the lens and also some smearing around this red box in the menu. Now if I switch the TV to S-Video, that dot crawl disappears and also the smearing around the red box mostly disappears and overall it's a much sharper image. Now here is using that adapter to convert S-Video to composite and I don't notice that dot crawl around the camera lens but overall the picture looks much softer and you can also see a lot of smearing around the red box in the menu. So overall it looks like really bad composite video. I mean it's watchable but it's a very soft image even on this small TV. Now here is using the adapter to convert the DVD player's composite video output to the S-Video input of the TV. And the image is much sharper this way, except the dot crawl is even worse than the pure composite video input from the DVD player to the TV. You still get the dot crawl around the camera lens, but now we also get it around this red box. So this would be a watchable image, but still not quite as good as just directly connecting a composite video input. Now for some actual video samples, here is pure composite video from the DVD player to the TV. Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how you can get the most out of your new camera. 
EOS Rebel cameras are high-performance digital SLR cameras. Select EOS Rebel cameras feature a high-resolution CMOS sensor for stunning image capture, a digic image processor, high-precision and high-speed autofocus, and continuous shooting, and full HD movie shooting. These cameras can be perfect for shooting different situations and can produce outstanding photos and video in a variety of circumstances. Now sit back and learn all about your new camera, a camera that can amaze you with its capabilities. Enjoy features that can take photography to the next level and allow you to shoot like a pro with little practice. The Canon EOS Rebel cameras can take your vision beyond the expected and help you capture images that you can admire for decades to come. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started so you can see how easy it is to capture the beauty around you. And here is Pure S video from the DVD player to the TV. Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how you can get the most out of your new camera. EOS Rebel cameras are high performance digital SLR cameras. Select EOS Rebel cameras feature a high resolution CMOS sensor for stunning image capture, a digic image processor, high precision and high speed autofocus, and continuous shooting, and full HD movie shooting. These cameras can be perfect for shooting different situations and can produce outstanding photos and video in a variety of circumstances. Now sit back and learn all about your new camera, a camera that can amaze you with its capabilities. Enjoy features that can take photography to the next level and allow you to shoot like a pro with little practice. The Canon EOS Rebel cameras can take your vision beyond the expected and help you capture images that you can admire for decades to come. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started, so you can see how easy it is to capture the beauty around you. Here is using the adapter to convert the DVD player's composite video output to the TV's S-Video input. Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how you can get the most out of your new camera. EOS Rebel cameras are high-performance digital SLR cameras. Select EOS Rebel cameras feature a high-resolution CMOS sensor for stunning image capture a digic image processor, high precision and high speed autofocus, and continuous shooting, and full HD movie shooting. These cameras can be perfect for shooting different situations and can produce outstanding photos and video in a variety of circumstances. Now sit back and learn all about your new camera, a camera that can amaze you with its capabilities. Enjoy features that can take photography to the next level and allow you to shoot like a pro with little practice. The Canon EOS Rebel cameras can take your vision beyond the expected and help you capture images that you can admire for decades to come. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started, so you can see how easy it is to capture the beauty around you. And here is using the adapter to convert the DVD player's S-Video output to the TV's composite video input. Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how you can get the most out of your new camera. EOS Rebel cameras are high-performance digital SLR cameras. Select EOS Rebel cameras feature a high-resolution CMOS sensor for stunning image capture, a digic image processor, high-precision and high-speed autofocus, and continuous shooting, and full HD movie shooting. These cameras can be perfect for shooting different situations and can produce outstanding photos and video in a variety of circumstances. Now sit back and learn all about your new camera, a camera that can amaze you with its capabilities. Enjoy features that can take photography to the next level and allow you to shoot like a pro with little practice. The Canon EOS Rebel cameras can take your vision beyond the expected and help you capture images that you can admire for decades to come. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started so you can see how easy it is to capture the beauty around you. So the adapter does work as advertised, although depending on which way you use it, you get video that's either a little bit worse or a lot worse than just using a plain composite video input. But that's with a widescreen LCD monitor. How about with a standard 4x3 aspect ratio cathode ray tube monitor, like what most people would have been using back in 2004 when this was new? Now I'll be using an Amdek Color 1 composite video monitor from 1983. It was made by Hitachi and it's basically just a TV set without the tuner. This time with Keeping Up Appearances because that's a 4x3 aspect ratio DVD. First with pure composite video from the DVD player to the monitor. You may see some moray patterns. That's just a camera effect of filming a TV screen that's not actually visible in real life. 
BBC Video would like to introduce you to some of Great Britain's most distinguished citizens. The calm and graceful John Cleese, also known as Basil Fawlty, innkeeper of Fawlty Towers. My God, you're ugly, are you? The dedicated and polite department store employees of Are You Being Served? Pants are up and bras are down. You smooth-talking sex maniac. The charming and handsome star of Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson, also known as the Black Adder. What begins with come here and ends with ow? I don't know. Come here. The most sought after and elegant hostess in all of Britain. I want people to walk through this door and stagger back in admiration. Patricia Routledge as Hyacinth Bouquet in Keeping Up Appearances. I have reason to believe that something's pooped in my polyanthus. The best of British comedy. Classy, sophisticated, subtle. <laughs> Four hilarious shows. Now available on DVD from BBC. Thank you so bloody much! <laughs> Now this is using that adapter to convert the DVD player's S-Video output to the monitor's composite video input. BBC Video would like to introduce you to some of Great Britain's most distinguished citizens. The calm and graceful John Cleese, also known as Basil Fawlty, innkeeper of Fawlty Towers. My God, you're ugly, are you? The dedicated and polite department store employees of Are You Being Served? Pants are up and bras are down. You smooth-talking sex maniac. The charming and handsome star of Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson, also known as the Black Adder. What begins with come here and ends with ow? I don't know. Come here. The most sought-after and elegant hostess in all of Britain. I want people to walk through this door and stagger back in admiration. Patricia Routledge as Hyacinth Bouquet in Keeping Up Appearances. I have reason to believe that something's pooped in my polyanthus. <laughs> the best of British comedy. Classy, sophisticated, subtle. A natural mop. <laughs> Four hilarious shows. <laughs> now available on DVD from BBC. Thank you so bloody much! <laughs> And here is a still image comparison of pure composite from the DVD player to the monitor. And now using the adapter to convert the DVD player's S-video output to the composite input of the monitor. I see a little softening of the image, but not as much as what was noticeable with that LCD monitor. So I'll switch back to the direct composite input. And actually you get more dot crawl with the composite input especially on this text here. You see a lot of dot crawl. But with the adapter, it's noticeably less, although the sharpness is a little bit reduced. So that's been my test of the Radio Shack S-Video Signal Converter. It does do what it advertises, converts S-Video to composite and composite to S-Video, although with some loss of video quality. Although as I demonstrated with a typical CRT TV, which people would have been using back when this was new, it's not as noticeable as it is with a LCD TV. I don't see too much usefulness for this, but maybe back in the day when everybody was using analog standard definition TV, it would have helped somebody. Somebody needed this kind of adapter in their system. They could run down to the local Radio Shack store, pick it up, install it, and get their video system working. Because that's something we really have lost with no longer having Radio Shack stores in every town. These little adapters and cables and things like that that would have helped you with some situation you're dealing with. Nowadays we just have to order everything on Amazon or through Mauser or DigiKey and wait a couple days for it to arrive. They even say here Radio Shack carries a full line of AV switches. These days, electronic stores don't carry a full line of anything except overpriced HDMI cables. So much more than just 